Hi all, today I am going to show you the unboxing and use of a Black & Decker electric carving knife. I purchased it online in India from a company who imports US products. Electric knives are very useful to slice bread, meat, cheese and vegetables. Since I am a vegetarian, I will be using it only to cut cheese, bread and bigger vegetables. I use a food processor to chop vegetables into smaller pieces. Therefore, I intend to use this knife to cut vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli and kale. Without much ado, let's go to the unpacking and use of this Black & Decker electric carving knife. So, I am ready to unpack this. There it is. This is the content of the box. This is the knife package. And then there is nothing else inside this box. So let's open this box. So you can see here that it says Black and Decker Comfort Grip Kushila Electric 23 Centimeter. It's in German. Here it is in English Black and Decker Comfort Grip 9 inch electric knife. Offset blades for complete cuts. So this is the picture of the knife. It has got a handle. There are there is a knife with two blades, and this one gets attached to the handles, and it has got a two-year guarantee. The knife is made up of high-quality stainless steel blades for breads, for breads, meats, cheeses, and more. So I will be using it only for breads, cheeses, and vegetables. So what's there in the package? You have instruction manual, black and decker knife. Let's open the main package. Here is the knife handle which probably has the motor inside. This is the knife handle. It's got a good balance. This American type plug which gets plugged into the wall socket. These are the knife blades. Twin blades. They are joined at this end and loose at the back end. They can slide slightly like that but they will get attached into the handle like this. So let's put this together and chop a cabbage. After unboxing it, I am going to demonstrate the use of the Black and Decker kitchen cutting knife. If you can call this a carver or a knife. Carving because they use it in western countries for carving meat like turkey, ham and all those big chunks of meat. In India we may not be accustomed to carving turkey and all that on a common base, common everyday practice. We may use it for cutting vegetables. So we could call this as a knife. So, it, But basically it's a carver or knife, black and decker knife. So this black and decker knife, from bitter experience I have to narrate to you, this knife which you see on the website is is actually uh, built for American conditions where the voltage is 110 volts and 70 watts and 50 hertz. Those electrical conditions are not available in India and you have to be careful. So here from this main socket, this is a 220 volts socket which I have in my kitchen. From that I am drawing a power and bringing it to this converter here, Maxine converter. You can see that the voltage is being converted from 220 volts to 110 volts and it has got 100 watts. So I will be plugging 
the plug this is the us type of a plug into this socket into this here I'll, I'll switch off everything i will take this and plug it into this maxi converter this is a 220 to 110 volts converter now i will switch on the power supply and this one has uh, converter itself has got a power supply here so i will switch on the power supply and now the knife is ready for action so you i will switch it off and demonstrate how it is to be done so you take the blade this is the blade these are two blades here oscillating blades they go back and forth they are attached at the tip and separate at the back portion the back portion is taken and when you hold it with this this portion you hold it with this portion and you slide it into, into the slot over here slide it and as you slide it it will lock by itself and the plastic pieces which were separated in space before they come together so now this knife is locked in the handle this is the handle and the knife blade is locked in the handle and it is ready for use but before you get it ready for use there is a small plug over here you have to press this this is when it is to the right side it is in the lock mode but when you press it to the left side like that it is unlocked so now if i press this trigger button this knife will cut so now we are ready to cut because it is unlocked and by pressing this trigger button the knife will cut so i have before me a biggish sort of a vegetable a full cabbage and it is safe to cut cabbage i have not tried it since my first use i have not tried cutting smaller vegetables so let's go ahead and cut cabbage. So switch on the power supply. Everything is fine. Just chest it in the air. It is working. And now apply the knife away from your hands because elderly people might be using it to reduce the load on their hands. So it is better to hold the vegetable away from the knife, sufficiently distant away from it. And now I'm going to cut this stalk of the cabbage here. Okay, so the base of this cabbage is cut and now I have got this um, full cabbage here and I am going to cut it into chunks. I am going to cut it into big chunks, not into fine pieces for cooking. I am going to cut it into big chunks. So I will start from the one corner, keeping my fingers away, sufficiently away from the knife. So now I am ready to cut once again. It went through easily without any strain on your hands. Otherwise, when you cut cabbage, there is a lot of strain on your hands. Nice to cut through a cabbage is ideal for cutting through big vegetables like this, and maybe some other vegetable like uh, like uh, cabbage, noon coal. These are all tough vegetables, as you know. So let's uh, try and cut this ca cauliflower now from the blade. See, it is going to operate and then cut the base. So the base is off and we can remove these leaves. Always keep your eyes on the knife. You cannot afford to take your eyes off the knife because anytime your knife can come closer to your finger, and since it is operated by electricity, it will have no mercy. You will end up uh, chopping your fingers off. You don't want to do that. Keep your eyes on the knife. Handle the vegetable far away from the knife. I am repeating this time and again. Now we can go through this claw for it.
And that's it. I slice through cauliflower easily. All big chunks. No, I can make it. Uh, but, but for demonstration purpose, I think that's that should be sufficient. But if you were to be cooking, it would be probably cut it into smaller pieces. Um, but it may not be worthwhile cutting a cauliflower into smaller pieces because you have to exercise ultra care for that. It's okay to cut big vegetables in India under Indian conditions. So after doing the cutting, you you can unlock this. Uh, you can remove the blade by pressing this switch here, and the blade can be removed from the electrical appliance. This blade can be washed in water, and it can also be put into the dishwasher, as I'm told. So I'm going to just wash it under water. So that was the unboxing and first use of the Black & Decker electric knife. I made this video to educate people about the voltage of the knife under which it, it should be used and to caution people that one should not order it arbitrarily without going into the details of the knife otherwise they may end up losing money. It is definitely going to be of use to people who are going to cut bigger vegetables and hard vegetables like yam, cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli and then of course cheese and of course uh, cheese, meats and all that. If you found this information useful then consider giving it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel Madras Joint Replacement Center MJRC and press that bell icon after subscribing so that you will receive notifications when I post videos in future. See you in the next video. Cheers.